garbler, garbler, gabbler, grabble, gargle. Honestly, it's close enough. I just cannot with this book. Honestly, I feel like this rant review is probably going to make zero sense because I'm just still so worked up about this. And I honestly haven't like collected all of my thoughts. I'm kind of just going off of the top of my head of what I can remember from this book. So I'm sorry, but hopefully it is entertaining for you. <laughs> And today I am here with a another rant review. This time it is for a complete series. And um, the more I think about these books, the angrier I get about them. So I figured I might as well come on camera and uh, provide you with some entertainment. The series is called the Kate Garble Grabble series. Honestly, I can't remember. It, I don't care. These books are just just a hardcore no from me. The first one in the series is called Bad Taste in Boys and the second one is called Bad Hair Day and they're both by Carrie Harris. And I just, I have a lot of feelings, a lot of thoughts, so without further ado, let us get started. We will, we will start with book number one, okay? So this book follows Kate Garble. Grabble. Don't remember her name. Irrelevant. Basically, she is this 15 year old who is this medical genius. Okay, just remember that fact. She's 15 and a medical genius. So since she is this medical genius, she is the school therapist for the football team. She's just minding her own business, doing her job of bringing the clipboards back to the office of the coach. Because, you know, that's what student therapists do. They bring clipboards and Gatorade back to offices. And she happens to stumble across the medicine cabinet and so she goes into this medicine cabinet and she finds these vials of unmarked substances and one is conveniently missing with a syringe needle on top so she comes to the conclusion that oh my god the coach is injecting my players with steroids oh no so then interesting things occur and all the players begin turning into zombies yes zombies so kate needs to take things into her own hands before Things become worse, and the zombies take over the world. Okay, that's, that's the synopsis of this book. I really <laughs> did not like this book. I don't know if I hated it more than the werewolf book that I reviewed a while ago. If you want to check out that rant review, there you go. But it was so bad. It honestly seemed to me like it was trying to compete for the most tropes possible in one single book. So we have the nerdy scientist, who obviously... Nobody wants to hang out with because she's a nerd. No one notices her, but she desperately wants everyone to notice her. But at the same time, she wants nobody to notice her. Because if people notice her, they'll notice how nerdy she is. But all the boys suddenly think she's super attractive because of her brains. She obviously wants the affection of the most popular boy in school. Who is super jock man, and just all the girls fall for him. So obviously, obviously, he ends up falling for her because... She has brains. And it's not all about beauty. It was just the most annoying thing to have Kate constantly just being like, Oh my god, I'm so nerdy. Nobody likes me. <laughs> like, bitch, own your smarts. You're probably adorable. Stop it. Honestly, the entire book was basically just Kate fawning over Aaron and saying how he'll never like her and he has no idea who she is. And then suddenly, suddenly, he notices her. One second he has no idea who she is, and then the next day they're making out on the floor of the coach's office. I don't, where is the progression? How does this, I don't compute. The whole plot made zero sense. They mentioned zombies like maybe once or twice, three times in the book max. It was mostly just Kate running around being like, I'm a medical genius, let me save everybody who happens to pass out in front of me. Let me perform CPR every two seconds. Like, bitch. Like, I just can't. The whole plot line just had so many holes in it. Like, I don't know if that was the point. To be like, haha, like, this book makes no sense. Look at me being creative, ha ha ha. Like, I don't know, but, like, I, I can't. The most redeeming part of this book is how short it was. It literally took me, like, three hours to read. And that was well I was putting it down repeatedly because I was too busy rolling my eyes into the back of my head being like, this is the stupidest book in the entire world. But your girl can never put a book down. Why? I don't know. I bought it. Need to read it, you know? I just, ugh. I was just hoping for like a cool zombie book and I just got nerdy scientist girl fawning over popular football boy with a mention of a zombie once or twice. I'm just, 
so disappointed. I mean, like, it was entertaining at times. There were some funny parts in it, so, like, it's not all that bad. But, like, most of the time I was like, why am I reading this book? Oh, my God. Like, I just, ugh. I feel like I probably would have liked it a lot better if I read it when I was, like, 12, because, like, it could have been entertaining, it could have been a good time, but I think I'm just too old for it now. So then on to the second book of this series. Originally, I had bought the second book of the series from Book Outlet, and I didn't know it was the second book in the series, so then I found the first book in the series, and I was like, oh look, now I can actually read the second book, and I just, why did I do this? The second book is called Bad Hair Day, and it's basically the exact same story, but instead of zombies, we are now moving on to werewolves taking over the world, and Kate needs to stop the werewolves. Just the more I think about this book, the more annoyed I get by it. It was just so boring and repetitive. It was literally the exact same story. I just felt like the author was trying way too hard to be funny, and it wasn't funny. There were some funny moments. But most of the time I was just like, the fuck is this shit? The plot didn't progress at all. All the characters were freaking annoying. Like, I just wanted to hit them over the head. Which leads me to another point. So Kate is supposed to be this medical genius, right? Okay, so she's this all-powerful 15-year-old who knows how to do all these medical things because she googled it. The amount of times she gets her head bashed into the floor or into a wall or gets thrown around, you would think her brain cells would not be there anymore because it's literally every chapter she gets thrown at something else and cracks her head on something and then she passes out and uh, did I mention she's epileptic too so that also is a fact. Do you know how many times she mentions it? At least 53 times. So you would think that just all all the brain cells are gone but no and then as I said, she's 15, 16, what, whatever a sophomore is in high school. She suddenly knows how to perform an emergency surgery in the back of a restaurant with a ballpoint pen to save her friend's life. Like, I'm sorry, what? And then like in the middle of a crime scene, a cop comes up to her and she's like, oh my god, can I have your autograph? Like, this would not happen. And I, I understand this is probably the point, it's probably supposed to be funny, but like, it was so stupid. It just made me angry. I also hated how stereotypical every single character in this book was. Like, there was one character named Elle, who's supposed to be this, like, blonde bimbo. Who's, like, in love with Aaron. She just met him, but she's in love with him and literally throws herself on him every two seconds in front of Kate. Which, like, cool, it's fine, but, like, just every sentence that came out of her mouth. Again, I probably would have liked it a lot more if I was younger when I read it, but just I cannot compute with the idiocy of this book. Also, how many times can she mention how cute Aaron's butt is? Because it's literally every chapter was just talking about how cute his butt is and it looks so good. Like, okay, thank you. I understand he has a cute butt. Like, move on. I just, I don't know. I, I don't know why I continued reading the series. I just don't read it. That's all I'm gonna say because it is just... It makes you angry. Alright guys, so that was my rant review for the Kate Garble Grabble Gargle series. Uh, if you couldn't have guessed, I gave them both one out of five stars. Um, don't read them. I mean, you can if you feel like it. If you want a good laugh at some fantabulous writing. But, um, I wouldn't waste my time. I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!